Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dale. I am going to be talking to you about fruits that are good for diabetic patients. That is a common question brought about by many diabetic patients because every one of us love to eat fruits. Fruits are a favorite of most of us. Fruits, so fruits cannot be omitted from our diet or from our lives. Today we are going to talk about how much of fruits can a diabetic patient eat. I have today I have brought nine fruits with me and I'll be explaining to you how much of fruits can a diabetic patient consume for his or her meals. So why should we eat fruits? Fruits are rich in vitamins and many other elements that are good for our health. And fruits are very high in antioxidants which protect our bodies from diseases like cancers and fruits are rich in fiber. Fiber help in digestion of food we eat and also it's very important in diabetic patients because fiber can actually slow down the absorption of glucose into a what type of fruits can a diabetic patient eat? Simply a diabetic patient can eat any fruit but there are few factors that are of concern. The first factor is the timing the patient takes the fruit. The fruit should not be taken just after a meal. It should be taken as a snack, either in between your breakfast or lunch or in between your lunch and the dinner. So around 10 a.m. or around 4 p.m. in the evening is the best time to take your fruits. And the second thing is the ripeness of the fruit. The more ripe the fruit is, the more sugar it contains. So it's better to consume half ripened fruits for a diabetic patient. And the amount is also very important and of course the type of fruits that you eat some fruits are low in glucose while some fruits are very high in carbohydrates or sugar so we'll now go through the fruits one by one among these fruits that are here avocado has the lower sugar content avocado has very low sugar content so a diabetic patient can consume about a th three quarter of an avocado. It's also rich in monounsaturated fatty acids, which protects our body from uh, heart attacks and other ischemic heart diseases. The next fruit we are going to talk about is watermelon. Watermelon is comparatively very low in sugar, so a norm so a diabetic patient can consume about a quarter of a normal sized watermelon so when the flesh is extracted it comes to about one full teacup that will be roughly around 100 grams so you can consume one cup of watermelon for your extra meal or a snack guava is also a fruit that is very low in sugar so a guava of this size is usually about around 200 grams so this is a bit too much much for a snack so you can consume about half of it so it comes to a full cup when the fruit is cut so you can have about half a guava for a snack and orange orange is also comparatively low in sugar so usually when we take an orange it's the amount of flesh is less than a cup so you can take a full orange the case is the same with the apples either red or green you can take roughly one an apple for a snack that is of no issue pineapples i have cut uh, this slice is about one centimeter thick so you can consume about two of these slices each slice weighs about roughly 50 grams so you can consume 100 grams of pineapple for a snack now the other fruits such as umbrella and gooseberries are low in glucose so gooseberries you can go up to about 10 for a snack for a snack and umbrella medium sized fruits you can go up to 2 then we are going to talk about the fruits which have high sugar contents i have brought two mangoes here so you know that there are mangoes are of many varieties and these are of two different sizes so if you take a mango of this size the flesh is around one cup this is too much for a diabetic patient what we recommend is half a cup 
per snack so a mango of this size a small mango you can take a whole fruit if you take it with the skin that is better when we take grapes the the uh, these are the size is a bit too large so if you are taking grapes of this size it's around five to six per snacks and the co other common fruit is bananas bananas of course if you are going for a banana a large variety you can consume up to three quarters of a banana of this variety and of course if you are going for a smaller variety you can take the whole banana for a snack if you are a fan of dates dates is something very very high in sugar so what we recommend is two dates two pitta dates per snack is the best amount for a diabetic patient so if you are going for sultanas about one tablespoon of the sultanas per day and there's one other thing that is very important every one of us love to drink fruit juices so fruit juices are not something that we recommend highly for diabetic patients because when we squeeze all the juice or take the juice the fruit is broken into very small particles so the glucose absorption becomes very fast and it can elevate our blood sugar very quickly so juice is not something that we recommend for diabetic patients so it's better if you could avoid drinking fruit juices if you even if you make them without sugar at home i'll be seeing you in similar videos which will be very useful for you if you like my videos and if you like to watch my video you can subscribe my channel till then see you